Hi, I'm Paul Manctelow. In this final episode of the Vision Matter series, I'll be looking at a specific eye disease of dogs called dry eye. We'll be covering what symptoms to look out for, the diagnosis and the treatment of this common disease. So I've got Alice here today with me to talk about dry eye in a bit more detail. Hello Alice. Hi Paul. And who have we got here? We have got um, Boris here today. He is a two-year-old Cocker Spaniel um, and I've heard that they suffer from dry eye. So could you give me some more information about it please? Yeah, absolutely. So dry eye is a disease that's uh, very common in dogs um, and actually um, one of the most common eye conditions you'll get. It's also called kerato conjunctivitis sicca, uh, which is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, as I say, about 1 in 22 dogs are affected, uh, but you're quite right, some breeds it's more prominent um, and it can occur in up to 1 in 5 of those breeds. It can be a very, very painful condition in these dogs and it can lead to serious chronic problems and even blindness. And what causes that, Paul? So this is most commonly caused when the dog's own immune system attacks the tear glands that produce the tears. Um, and this, you know, this damage is, is irreversible and eventually it results in the dog not being able to produce any of those watery tears at all. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, tears are really important for eye health. Um, they provide nutrients to the surface of the eye, they help cleanse the eye from infection, uh, but they also help lubricate the eyes as well. So when you get your tears uh, you know, not being produced with dry eye, um, often the eye can become quite sore and painful and more prone to things like conjunctivitis and corneal ulcers as well. Okay, so what should I be looking out for? So you often notice a sticky kind of discharge. Um, the eye may appear painful, so you may see them rubbing the eyes or you know pouring in that area. Uh, and often you can often see changes in the cornea. So they, they, it often appears dry, uh, or sometimes it goes opaque, and you see prominent blood vessels around the around the eye. I think it's really important to know at the early stages the signs can be quite subtle. So it's really really important that you're checking your dog's eyes regularly, and at the first sign of a problem, um, you. you taking them to the vet to get them checked over. Okay, so is there a test we can do? Yeah, absolutely. There's something called a Schermatier test, uh, which involves putting a little strip of paper into Boris's eye, and we measure his tear production over 60 seconds. Okay, will that hurt him? No, no, it's fine. It's really quick and easy. So I don't know if you want to we'll try that now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So these are the tear strips here. Okay. Um, okay, so we're just going to put one of them into Boris's eye and we're just going to check uh, the tear production so it'll turn blue as, the, as it soaks up the tears. Okay. All right, so we're just yeah. having facing towards me. Good boy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, there we go. That's a good boy. And it sits quite nicely on the surface of the eye and, uh, you know, it doesn't cause him too much discomfort. Uh -huh. Okay, so we just need to time it now for 60 seconds. And that's the time up there. Okay, that's the time up and we take it out. As you can see, He's got a nice blue reading on there, which means that his, uh, his tear production is normal. Oh, brilliant. So what will happen if Boris is diagnosed with um, dry eye? So dry eye is a lifelong condition and it will require lifelong treatment with eye drops. Mm -hmm. uh, so once diagnosed, uh, your vet will often recommend two different types. Uh, one of them is an ointment that you put in the eye twice a day. Uh, and that ointment helps protect the tear glands uh, from the immune destruction uh, and helps stimulate natural tear production again. Uh, but it's also really important to also lubricate the eyes as well uh, and to use an artificial tears uh, type product. So most of these eye drops you'd have to use probably about four times a day. Oh um, really? Yeah, oh, I will struggle with that. <laughs> okay, um, that is quite frequent, isn't it? Um, yeah. But there are um, products and such as this one, which is called Remend, uh, okay. which is only needs to be put in the eyes twice a day. Uh, it's important to note that this this isn't used as a treatment on its own, and, and obviously you'd have to get um, the prescription ointment from your vet as well. Thanks, Paul. I will definitely be keeping a close eye on Boris. And that was the final episode of our Vision Matters series. Hopefully now you've got more insight into how your pet sees and how to recognise early problems with your dog's eyes. If you've got any more questions or concerns about your dog's eyes, then please contact your local veterinary practice.